Welcome to Bad Food Blog, and today we have a burger special. This is a special episode containing uh, two products, so it's going to be extra long. The first product is Gourmet Burger Kitchen Classic Burger, which also comes with a voucher for two free, uh, free burgers, apparently. Crisps chase, tasting like cheese, classic cheeseburger, and then we have four burgers in onion gravy in a tin. We have tinned burgers, which let's find out how we're going to cook them in the microwave. In the microwave, two minutes, stir, heat for a further minute, leave to rest for one minute, one minute before serving. And I've got some flatbread to go with them to try and eat them like a burger, or eat, and I'm gonna eat them off the plate and see what they are. Apparently, this is mum's choice. I'm not sure whose mother is choosing to eat this or choosing the children to eat this, but not mine. I just, burgers in a tin. <laughs> It says not much about the burgers. Um, meal times made easy. Serving suggestion is to put them in a roll. Just sort of hash them out. They don't even have. Um, they haven't even gone to the attention on here. If you don't, know if you can see that, let's let's zoom in a bit. They haven't even gone to the attention here to actually even put any salad, tomato, ketchup, or anything else in there. It's kind of fantastic. Westerners means meal times made easy by Westerners. I, this has got to be an American product. It really has to be. Once opened, keep refrigerated, consume within 48 hours. Probably not many preservatives. Actually, each quarter can, so each burger. So I'm going to be like, whoa, up on my salt content, but the rest I'm going to be okay. Now... The crisps, on the other hand, actually, this is a 65 gram bag. Now, this is going to surprise the hell out of everybody here, but I thought half of this packet of crisps is worse for you than one of these burgers. By a lot. Two of these burgers is about the same amount of saturated fat as half of this bag of crisps. That's uh, sort of goes to show. This is going to have more protein in it as well. See, you would have thought this was way worse for you than this, but no. The crisps, the one you might have as a snack outside of a meal, is actually going to cause you more problems. Has less salt and less sugar, but much more fat. Most of it is vegetable fat, though. Mm. Oh, there we are. Okay, classic cheeseburger. It tastes like beef flavored crisp with cheese, but there's a hint of mustard and ketchup. Which I guess is burger like, but. It's almost like there's too many subtle flavors going on. I'm not really getting one solid thing to grip onto. Sometimes it's mustardy, sometimes it's ketchupy, sometimes it's burgery. I guess like eating a burger. Looking at the crisps themselves, no obvious signs of um, flavouring powder, which means it's potentially flavoured by being cooked in the oil or sprayed on as a liquid afterwards. The issue of having flavouring dusted on crisps, I'm sure you've got bingo packets before. You get them a lot with Pringles. You'll get a Pringles tin that is just like red all the way through when it's a Propeka one. And it just, you almost inedible, it's got so much powder flavouring on it. So that's the sort of thing that's going on here. Like I say, there's nothing extraordinary or interesting. They're bland and uh, fatty tasting. That's not great. Thought I was going to do better. Hmm. I'm mildly disappointed. There was some pepper pepperoni pizza crisps that were actually quite nice. These are bad. Hmm. Oh well, Walkers. You tried. Okay.
Okay, we are opening the tinned burgers. No smell yet. It would be now no. Ooh, little something. Gravy, man. Ooh, the gravy's. Oh. Wow, it um, smells like a pie. Mm. A gravy appears to have a lot of tomato sauce in it. Well, I'm supposed to cook them in a suitable container for the microwave. I'm going to go with a. Uh, A bowl? I don't know. I was thinking either a bowl or a plate. I mean, you might have to do a live stream and get your feedback. Oh my god. I'm gonna get a spoon and spoon some of that off. I'm not trying it till it's cooked. I want to see the burger underneath that. Is there a burger? Oh my god, the burger and the sauce like mold together. So that's sauce. It's supposed to be gravy. Oh. Okay, I could feel then that the burger was falling apart as I was trying to lift it up. So I'm going to tip it out by turning it upside down. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, that noise and the fat at the bottom there. It's obviously been cooked in the tin. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, dear. It, it smells like um, those pies, those, uh, it smells like the beef version of those pies. Oh, the, the spoon just goes through it. The spoon just goes through the burger. Like, it just cuts into it. Like, this is a spoon, this is blunt. Look at the edge on that spoon. It just slices into the burger. Just slices in. I, mean, I kind of want to try and redeem these. I'm tempted to take them to the sink, wash them, and then fry them. Now, should I do that with two of them and then microwave the other two? I, I think I'm going to do that. Let's get a plate. So, let's plonk two of them on the plate. And I'm going to... My, between burgers or am I inside a burger? That, that's honestly, honestly, something I cannot tell. I cannot tell if I'm inside a burger or between a burger when trying to separate them. I'm gonna have to put my hand in there. Oh God, I was inside a burger. That's a phrase I never wanna use. Right, these two are gonna go in the frying pan. And uh, these two are going in the microwave. For half the specified time. I'm gonna eat this. I don't know why I'm repulsed by it. Well, I don't know why I'm repulsed by it. I don't know why I'm not able to overcome. I could normally overcome it, right? It's just, it's just the way it looks. I mean, come on. The fat oozed out of it at some point. I got to wash it and then put it in the frying pan. Oh my god. Washing the sauce off it made it a little worse. You can see the, where the fat's leaked out, where it's been cooked in the tin. Where the fat's been pushed up against another burger. Oh my god. I made a mess of the sink as well. So here we go. That's what the burgers actually look like underneath all of that. Oh, the sauce is just tomato sauce by the looks of it. it, it they say gravy, but uh, I, it's the wrong, it's the wrong colour for gravy. Look at it. Okay, well, let's uh, the troubles begin. This is going to go in the microwave. I'm not going to do all the cutaway shots of the microwave. This video is getting long enough as it is. So let's put it in for one minute and then we'll do something with it. This, on the other hand, is going to go to the frying pan, which I will film. And I'm going to continue eating those crisps. Oof.
Okay, over to the frying pan. Let's get them in and see what happens. This red thing on the side is to uh, hold spatulas and the like. It's pretty handy. You wash that up instead of getting mess all over your counter. Mm, it's certainly smelling a bit more like burger. Gotta say, uh, the uh, smell from the burger isn't that bad. I'm now able to eat the crisps again. I would put off for a couple of minutes there. Well. Oh. Mm -hmm. There's a definite edge of a pickle to this crisp as well. So they've got some sort of monotone flavour of all of the things in the cheeseburger. I mean, they've done, they spent a lot of time on it, obviously. Just there's no beef flavour. The beef flavour isn't strong enough. A cheeseburger is almost burger. <clears throat> Now, in terms of flavour, a burger is 90% burger, 10% cheese, maybe, well, okay, it's got to add up to 100, 80 something percent burger, 10% cheese, and then the other flavours make up the rest of the 10%, including the bread and the sesame seeds and pickle and whatever else. Hmm. Burger flavoured crisp, because I just like beef are pretty weird. Are they sticking to the pan? Yeah, they are. I'm expecting a high moisture, high sugar content. Okay, they're looking a bit more like burgers now. Hopefully it's reducing the water content in them. I'm going to get some colour in there. Every time I film. Okay, we might return to this in a bit later. I'll turn that down a bit more and give it a chance to, to dry them out. They're already starting to shrink. They're not releasing any oil, so I'm going to have to put a bit more in, otherwise they're just going to solidify and stick to the pan. I want them to rise I want them to be loose from the pan. They're not, they're just sticking. Oh, that one's better. They're absorbing a lot of the oil. You can see that. The side of the spatula just cut through one of them. So, not even I could bring myself to um, have burgers from a bowl and then eat them with a spoon. So I'm going to tip them out onto this plate. Ouch, still hot. There we go, and there's some of the gravy. Ooh. So let's get a knife and fork and see what we've got. By the way, the uh, one in the frying pan is just uh, burning by the looks of it. So we have uh, something that looks nothing like the can. They don't look like nice burgers. And I, I really struggle to see how you could put this that can barely hold its own weight. And I can't even tell when I'm cutting through it. You can see that. The, the, the knife is actually able to take it off like it's pate. Uh, mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like burger. 
It tastes like those little chunks of meat you get in those microwave pies from Fray Bentos. It's been boiled or steamed, the meat. Mm. I'm not entirely sure what you'd call that. I'm pretty sure I would be able to, yeah, I would be able to spread it on bread like it was some kind of uh, pate. Mm. Well, this is actually worse than I imagine burgers in a tin could be in gravy. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how you classify this orange stuff as gravy. I made gravy, I've never managed to make it orange. Very strange. There's no, there's a hint of a burger taste. Mm. There's no gristle. It's probably majority fat. I would say the closest thing in terms of texture would be like a very, 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 very bad hot dog. All right, that's enough of that. I'm putting that aside. Ah. Uh huh. So let's see how the frying ones are turning out. Because I think for all intents and purposes, they're done because they don't cook, they just burn to the pan. Because to cook, you need to have some sort of structure, if that makes sense. So you'd need to actually have some sort of form to heat. Whereas these are the same as those ones, they just burn was underneath remaining paste. So I imagine this is like, I mean, they're getting a bit more structure to them as the moisture is pushed out of them, which is, I guess, good. And I gotta say now that I'm gonna put those between two bits of bread and I'm gonna see if they taste like a burger. I'm even gonna give them tomato ketchup. I've got some flat bread here giving them the best opportunities and really nice tasting bread. Let's see how they do. I'm not holding up much hope here. Ah, the spatula just slices through them. So let's, let's do a double deco on, shall we? Let's give them all the opportunity. All right, there we go. Can't say I haven't tried. You cannot say I'm not trying. This is as trying as I could be. I'm even going to put a slice of cheese on it. So you feel like I'm getting indigestion from the other one already. Wow. That is, that'll be a world record for indigestion for me. Like a minute and a half. Okay. Ketchup. Uh. There we go. See, that's the best opportunity this thing has of appealing to me taste-wise. Really good bread, cheese, tomato ketchup. Nope. No, it failed. Cooking it in the frying pan did not. Any improvements in the flavor are coming from the cheese in this matter. Um, it's so not, it's a little bit more beefy being fried, a tiny bit. But why keep it in gravy? That had to be washed off and it made the cooking process burn and burnt a load of stuff. Mm. Some texture has returned to the meat, but it is well below par. It is way below any microwave burger. It is just, look, it's falling to pieces. From the pressure of my bite next to it. And yeah, in case you're wondering, 
it's still like paste even after being fried and solidified more mm -hmm. well that's just i believe a waste of everybody's time so this has been bad food blog and this is probably my bad food of 2020 so far i can't think of anything worse even even one of those tin pies is leagues above this you can't even use this as an ingredient you can't even take it out and do something else with it it's just it just doesn't work on any level okay please rate comment and subscribe this has been bad food blog with uh, a double review of some bad tasting crisps and the worst burgers I've ever had. Four tinned burgers and gravy. Please rate, comment and subscribe.